right, so uh, let's talk a little bit about ups and downs in uh, your journey and the post-production. It's the 27th. On the 8th, I got notified that I was getting laid off from my assistant editor job at the trailer company. I don't know if it was such a shock. It was shocking, but uh, things have been really slow, and so I can uh, totally understand what happened there. I've been trying to figure out what I'm going to do in the meantime until I get back on track and um, obviously I've been applying to assistant editor jobs in the past couple of weeks I've probably applied to six different jobs I've had two interviews but I'm also looking at like who knows what's gonna happen the strikes are ending or they seem to be ending and um, your work will start to pick back up but what do you do on your time off right like or your in between times and so I decided that uh, I need to brush up on my Avid skills and my Adobe skills uh, so I signed up for a bunch of classes some I've uh, already had but now that I have more time I'm just concentrating on getting those done and getting the information and practicing more based on what I get from these classes. The first thing is I'm going to redo my basic AVID classes, AVID Media Composer MC 101, 110, and 201. Additionally, I'm doing Ali Abdal's part-time YouTuber course, AVID Beers, um, avid class i got two for one basically previous to that i've owned and i'm digging into because i have more time now uh hayden hillier smith's edit like an artist course and jordan or the editing formula and then for trailer editing specifically i have train robbers art of the trailer course and film editing pros the art of trailer editing what works for me is if i can uh, get into the zone then I just crank through and I get a bunch of stuff and I feel good and I feel like I have a great understanding of the material uh, the purpose of doing those is to get better at my craft so that I can do more of my craft so that I can show more of my craft and practice more of my craft over and over so that I get better then all of this adds up to me being a more proficient editor and that's who I am and what I want to do. It's a balance between just doing the work and getting better at it just by doing it and then also adding to my toolbox by learning new skills. And so that is where I'm at right now. I'm just uh, spending all my days A, submitting uh, resumes to potential jobs but also honing my skills as an editor so that when I move from assistant editor to editor or so that I can move from assistant editor to editor in a more quicker fashion. That's where I'm at right now and that's what I'm doing and appreciate you taking the time to follow me on this journey. Um, I'm going to be doing these videos more often just because um, of the part-time YouTuber uh, class and getting used to just putting these out there and if you're interested in what it takes to a become an assistant editor or B what it takes to transition or get into post and then transition into being an editor or just being an editor or specifically maybe a trailer editor then uh, this content might be of interest to you i hope so and if you get a chance check out my facebook group this post live there i post a lot of editing activity that's going on as far as like events or classes or articles or videos or podcasts so if you uh, get a chance go there and you can get a lot of great um, notifications about different things that are happening all right, thanks.